weights and measures, fair trading, was as important in the ancient world as it is today. I don't know what trading standards authorities looked like in uh, Jesus' day, but today we can be assured that where some trade is taking place wrongly, unfairly or fraudulently, there are measures in place to make sure that that doesn't happen for long. If you wanted to get grain or spices uh, or uh, kind of loose fruit, things like that, but particularly grain in Jesus' day, you would take your measure, which was a physical measure rather than a weighted one, uh, and give it to uh, the merchant who would fill your measure with grain. If they filled it loosely, you wouldn't necessarily get as much. You know what it's like when you're trying to fit something into a jar. And actually, if you shake it a bit, it will go down so that more can get in. And then if you press it down, you could get even more in. And a generous trader might then make sure that as you were holding your measure, uh, it actually went above the lip of the measure. Jesus speaks of our lives being a bit like the generous merchant who would shake, press down and then overflow rather than being mean with our love and our life and our care for others we might give like the merchant who makes sure that the weight and the container is full to overflowing so that when people bump into us or when we engage with others it's the love which god has poured into our hearts which overflows rather than being mean and stingy with who we are and with the love that god has given to us we should overflow with it why because it is god who has given us freedom and forgiveness and hope and new life the word mercy has appeared through uh, our collect and readings today we are only able to know that life is for us and love has filled us because god has shown mercy and given us the gift the overflowing gift of his son jesus christ our lord paul says to the romans that creation groans because it's under oppression we groan because we get things wrong we know that human life tends to brokenness and dissipation sin creation groans thanks be to god says paul that in jesus christ god has shown mercy and in being merciful to each one of us and to the whole creation there is overflowing life and hope the glorious liberty as paul puts it of the children of god that is not our doing we have not gained all this love, all this grain in our measure, if you like, through our own actions. But we have been filled with the generous, glorious love of God, shaken together, pressed down, running over. As we have been so filled, says Jesus, so may that be the way in which you live and relate and care for others in the same way don't be judgmental there is enough to sort out in your own life not to take an overly judgmental idea and attitude to other people as well as we have received mercy so may we be those recognizing the fact that we have been forgiven offer first generosity, care, support, being alongside. 
we are those who in Christ have found forgiveness, healing, hope. May we live, says Jesus, as those who having received mercy, offer that mercy to others by drawing them into the forgiving, life-giving love of God in Jesus Christ. And may we do that as the merchant who shakes, who presses, and who overflows. For here are words of eternal life. May this place, may God's people here, God's people in God's churches across the world, offer such overflowing love and mercy. In Jesus Christ our Lord.